Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this, and welcome back to Prison Architect. Now, something that I'm going to do differently in this episode, compared to effectively every of the previous episodes, is that I am going to not describe at the beginning of this episode what I'm going to do during this episode, simply because I have tried, I think it was three episodes in a row, to declare what I'm going to do, and 100% failed. So instead, I'm just gonna crack on. I'm gonna buy another guard. Um, because I noticed that we were running out. We seem to have gone from 1 to 11, though. So did I just buy 3 guards? We had 9. I don't know what I have in there. But. Fair enough. Okay. So. Filter 21. I think we can uh, slowly but surely. Build some more. I'll bring in some more. What are you jumping up and down for? Spirituality. That's fine. Kind of. I understand. Well, you have an understandable need for that, but we're in the process of shifting everything around a fair bit and trying to get everything set up much better. Okay. So we've still got guys in the holding cell which is just irritating. We've still got guys... Solitary, is a solitary cell available just there. For one. So you definitely can put him in solitary. He needs to go to a doctor. Apparently. He's still jumping up and down with spirituality. Right. Okay. Go into planning mode. Okay. So, it's going to be kept relatively simple. I might even go one further out on that one. As far as how we're going to build this little sort of reception area. Okay. So that's all good. So if we take take this what's this flashing for there shouldn't be any issues with cells you want some drugs <laughs> I'm fairly sure I'm not just gonna hand you out some drugs people are getting um oh you're working I don't even remember I turned jobs on in the laundry room are they I know yeah they're unskilled labor you're getting cross on it as well everyone's getting really cross high and is increasing Hmm. I think we need to work a bit more on on a few things, don't we? Because I, I, maybe taking in more prisoners is not such a good idea. Although we should either be able to accommodate 30, shouldn't we? How many cells do we have here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And then there's a whole set here. We should definitely be able to accommodate 30. It's just whether or not realistically that's it's going to be useful to us. Okay. So let's take this across to here. It's going to be four out from that. So that's grass, path, path, grass, wall. Messed that up. So that's grass, path, path, grass, wall. Okay. Doesn't matter that I've overlapped that a little bit. I can get rid of that because it's going to come all the way off to there anyway effectively isn't it? if it's there hold on the side no it's not, it's further in like that instead it's a huge reception area then Okay. So, how would we like to try this out? So we need to un. Let's just undo some of these rooms for now, and let's dismantle some of everything. 
just to get things out of the way and into storage, ready for them to be reused at some point in the not too distant future. Talking lights, everything, get it all out, rip it to bits, even take visitation down. That's right, I'm going to totally destroy all of this. Hell, let's just let's get it done. No more holding cell, no more any of this crap. It's done. But we'll keep the two solitary cells for now because punishment is still still being handed down appropriately. Okay. I don't know why I couldn't open that myself, but apparently I couldn't. Anyway, that's all good. So, how about? I wonder what happened if I just built this as a big square now. I just said, deal with it. If I did that, what would it do, basically? Everything is going to be a prime spot. This, well, I guess it just needs to be an exit, doesn't it? A tunnel, so to, to get the guard dogs on the way out. Um, can hire some more staff because I've got work to do. Hire another guard. So I'd rather have twelve guards. I've got Twenty-five workmen now. I'm still slightly confused as to why these guys have not been moved. Considering the world around them has been dismantled. Although, we do need to set the staff room up again quite quickly because we've got staff struggling. That's the last thing we want. I suppose we've got staff struggling. I. Uh, mm, 16 hours is a bit a bit pushing it, I think, to get everything sorted and set up. How much does it cost to hire the riot, the riot police? $100. Is that $100 an hour or just $100 in total? Sorry, we'll pay $100 for a riot van. We'll just deploy them for the purpose of keeping the uh, keeping the prisons in, in check. Because I think we might we might have a little bit of a kick off quite soon. Let's just fast forward this a bit. Get get the foundations laid on the reception building. Okay. So I want one of you here. I want one of you um, kind of just sort of here. I want one of you. Oop. One of you in here. And then I can use the remaining three of you as like. Actually, I need one of you. I don't know if there's people in these cells, but I'll put one of you in here. And I'll keep the remaining two of you in or on patrol. Why won't you? Yeah, you you might die. That's the only problem. You're not being allocated to anything. You're patrolling. Take him. Take take the prisoner somewhere. Okay. I'm sure this door's not been dismantled. Uh, deployment. 
coals. Don't need that or that being patrolled anymore. How good it did knock things down in a kind of a way. Okay. So we will put a large jail door there. And we will make this for now staff only. Okay, so we need to put the brick wall along the front of here. So if I do that, will they replace it with a brick wall is the question. So we can get rid of that floating door. Where are they all going off to? So we've got still got four prisoners just floating around in here. And I have no control over them, that's the problem. I can't sort of tell you to do something because you're effectively going to ignore me. These doors have been left floating. They are replacing the wall. Oh, brilliant. That is good news. Okay. So, we can dismantle that. Dismantle that. And dismantle each of these. We will need to replace them down shortly in order to power. area, but basically dismantle the two soldier cells as well, because it's not working. Let's just make room requires sandbar walls. There we go. There are four solitary cells. Sorry, there are six solitary cells. Okay. Well, we want to build this concrete wall here so that at least we don't have to worry of them running off around the outside. They shouldn't be able to, they can't escape. I don't want them running around the outside for no reason. <gasps> One of the guys is on the move. Wow. Finally got them in their cells, or into cells. I filled almost all of them instantly. It's fine. So for the purpose of this, we'll add some more sort of results, just so that you can put apparently all my prisoners in them. Okay. So objects dismantle. Just get rid of those two lights as well. And that one. Still a prisoner in there. There's still a prisoner in here. Oh. Someone decided to attack a guard. With the riot police present as well. Are you mad? You, sir. Go into here. So we need to go and guard the solitary cells as well. There's no one in those cells apparently, which is fine. I just didn't know that. So we'll just keep everyone locked down basically using the riot police for the for enough for a non-intended purpose okay get him and him <laughs> I, I think I, my attempts to make this prison functional. I've clearly failed. Okay. So let's do some quick calculations. I think this was 50, was it? So that means 25 makes that the middle. Okay. That block. This block is the middle. 
So we want, therefore, logically, we've got a large gel door, two that way, and a large gel door, two that way. And we'll put a window there, in the middle. So that can be the entrance to our reception area then. That makes sense. Should I have built it further in with some more fences? I'm going to finish this wall off. I suppose I could build a little corridor. Wall to corridor, corridor to wall. Okay. So rooms. We now want a reception. So if we had... reception area that came a little bit wider than the entrance doors. So the reception needs indoor indoors, yeah obviously, office tables and chairs. So I think um, the purpose of the table was quite annoying on there. Didn't quite if I'd made that, you know I don't know, it's because it's not symmetrical, isn't it? So I can put a table Hmm, how do I want my reception to appear? You've got office desks and chairs. This is well you thought they would sign in, but they don't. I think they focus mostly on the tables. So if we put a table kind of one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we'll go we'll go three. So we can put a little corridor either side. There's two tables. And then we can have four. Desks and chairs. Hell, what is that? Let's do another, let's do another row. For them to come and be sort of signed in. And that'll look good. Okay. So we would just surround that with a brick wall. Be the reception area. Done and dusted. Yeah, okay, prisons let, let people in and out. We also need some lights in here. If we go into the corner and just bring a light one in each way, should be enough, shouldn't it? And then we can put a double light. Oh, just a light in the middle, that'll do. You just happen to be carrying a light with you, did you, mate? So, because we've not got symmetry or such, I'm not sure if you can hear that motorbike in the background, being loud and obnoxious. I hope not. Okay. So there we have our path then into a corridor. So this corridor is going to be three wide if I leave it like that. But then again, the, because of the, the size of this, that's that's kind of realistic. So why have you been left there? You're a gang member. Surely, why are you all in there? Are you waiting for a... Waiting for a staff room. The super, the super prisoners in here eating lunch. You're injured. They're injured. I don't really know what's going on. Clearly, clearly the game is not not 100% playing fair at the moment. Okay. So we want some more brick walls for a corridor, like so. Going to make sure to put metal detectors on the back of these doors so that anyone coming into the prison through this reception area 
gets scanned. Okay. Okay. So we'll turn this into the concrete wall we'll kit in here. So brick up until the point where the visitors would stop seeing realistically. And we're floating off his door. You want to get in and help, do you? We'll get in and help. Well, now you've all stopped helping. Okay. So that's reasonably good. You're about to get trapped. That's fine, because this is going to be visitation here. So we are going to need a kind of door. So let's actually grab the rooms and find out how big the visitation tables are for a second. So we've got visitor table and visitor's booth. The visitor table. Depends whether we want it to be oh, so we can segregate the visitors from the prisoners. Oh, that changes my plan a little bit. So, what if I did like like a visitor prisoner kind of vertical wall like that? Could I get if I did that? Mm -hmm. Just trying to decide. If, because visitors, they don't often visit one to one, do they? They often visit in, in groups. Do I take that one? Oh crap, they're building them. Oh well, that wasn't really a very good planning activity. Looks like I'm doing that then. <laughs> so if we were to build a kind of like jail door, a normal jail door access. Yeah, maybe. And then have like um, see I would like to think that it would it would work in the way that I would like it to work. You just weed yourself or something on the floor. But because you're not being collected, no one's come to collect you. I'm I'm not really sure how this is panning out in that sense. So we've got this line of booths here. We need to be able to let the prisons in. That's got to be, you know, quite obvious. How big is this? Twenty-two. We need eleven in. Is effectively the middle. That's ten that side. On that side. That's cool. So it means we can put a double. I'm really just probably not making any noise into the microphone there because I was scratching my nose. But we're doing some steady progress into our old prison, prison life and prison world, aren't we? Done some bits and bobs. Okay. So planning. Take that one away. Actually, let's add another booth in there. And let's 
Got some lights in, basically. Okay. Well, I've let the clock run a bit further than I expected it to. So we've made some good progress. The reception area is in place. We're about to receive our new guests, which is probably a good time to, to skip to the next episode. So I'm going to record the next episode pretty quickly. But uh, I hope you enjoyed and continue to enjoy. And I will see you again soon for some more Prison Architect. Bye for now.